Welcome to PowerPoint Basics, Lesson 6, Creating a Picture Show. Now, I have already created a picture show, but I want to show you how I went about doing this. If you go to File, let's say you're, you've got a, a, a presentation that you haven't saved yet, like I have right here. If you go to Save, you can do a PowerPoint, a PPT file, but if you wanted to email this file to somebody and you wanted to say to to run automatically when they double clicked it. What you want to choose is a PowerPoint show, a PPS file. And that way they can, it kind of prepackages the file and puts it, but they can open it in their email. Okay, so I just wanted you to kind of know how I went about doing this. I'm going to go ahead and go to open, and I'm going to open the presentation that I've already created. Now, let me go ahead and undo a couple things here, just so you can see how I went about doing some of the things that I've done here in this show. Okay, so let's take a look at the, we've added a new slide. Let's say we want to insert some pictures here, since we're making a picture show. You go to the insert menu, to the picture, and then you choose from file. And I'm going to add uh, some more of my flower pictures here. Now you'll notice that a lot of times it gets too big uh, if you have a large uh, camera that does large pictures. So double click the picture and it'll bring up the format picture window. Click on the size tab and I'm going to change this to about 15%. Now you notice it disappears sometimes so sometimes you have to go scrolling up and down to find it and you notice it's stuck it way up here in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down a little bit. Maybe. Alright, let's see here bring it down and center it in the slide. Okay, let's go ahead and hit new slide on the formatting toolbar and I'm going to choose a blank format under content layouts. I'm going to insert picture from file and I'm just going to pick another one of my flower pictures. Double click it, go to the size tab and change it to a now one thing you want to keep in mind is keep that lock aspect ratio checked. That way uh, it won't screw up the, uh, the ratio of the picture. Okay. Now once again it disappears off the screen. Why it does that? I don't know why. That's one of those little PowerPoint quirks. But I'm going to go ahead and bring it down and center it in the slide. Okay. So now what we've done is we've added the picture. So let's say now we want to work on slide transitions. If you click on the slide sorter view, you will notice right now several of my slides already have five seconds listed under them, and that's because I've already done the steps to to add transitions. But what I want to do now, if you notice on the toolbar up here, it says transition. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the transition button, and over here on the right, you'll notice that it changes to the slide transition settings. Now right now, it, this one's showing you that automatically after five seconds, it's going to do a box in. Uh, so if you hit the play button, you can kind of see how this thing's going to act. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I notice here I have a slide that I don't haven't applied any kind of um, um, formatting to as far as transitions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck on mouse click because if I don't this is going to freeze until somebody clicks. So I want that to keep moving. So I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to check automatically after and I'm just going to add five seconds to that. Okay. And then I'm going to give it a transition. Okay. I may slow it down a little bit just so you can kind of see how it's going to look a little bit better. Now, if I want to add sound to this presentation what I can do is let's just double click the first slide that brings us up in slide view and I'm going to go to insert movies and sounds and I'm going to put sound from file I've got a track here that I want to use so I'm going to double click that track you get a question how do you want the sound to start in the slideshow I'm going to say automatically I don't want somebody to have to click to do this sound so I'm going to hit automatically now what I'd like to do is show you how to configure this sound. 
Now this is a, a very strange, for some reason, I don't know why PowerPoint chose to do it this way, but to edit the sound, you go to slide transition up here and choose custom animation. So it's treating it like an animation, which is really strange to me, but over here where you've got your track listed under the animation tab, there's a little black arrow. If you click on that black arrow, you can choose effect options. Under effect options, then you have the option to tell it when to start so I want it to start playing from the beginning and then you can tell it when to stop so I want it to stop after slide 4 okay and then I hit OK so you'll notice now it should play from the beginning of slide 1 to the end of slide 4 so I'm going to go ahead and hit save save my presentation so to view this, you can just click over here on slideshow or you can go to the slideshow button and hit view show. So let's take a listen. We should be able to hear, hopefully I haven't got it turned up too loud or too soft. I'll hit the view show and we'll see there's our box in. And so we'll start hearing some music here very quietly. There's our transitions to the next slide. After about five seconds this slide should be open again. So there it does it. There you go. You can uh, add slides and add pictures, um, put music in there and automate the show. And remember, once again, if you were, if we hadn't saved this already, you would just go to File, Save. I'm going to go do a Save As just so you can see it and then change it to a PPS, okay, a .PPS show. And that will make it to where you can email that file to somebody and they can open it up and, and watch the show. That concludes Lesson 6.